This is meal one for me. Right. Right? I ain't gonna eat all this on camera because <laughs> when it goes down, how do the plates come back to you? Oh, the plates come back completely empty. And by the way, it's got, like I told you, the cinnamon, the different herbs. You gonna be regular. It's gonna go in and come out, trust me. And everything gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Just Angela. Today, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day as a vegan. Normally, I'm pretty busy, so I bring in the experts. Today, I actually have one of my chefs with me, the guru. He's amazing, plant-based, incredible vegan chef. And we're gonna show you a little bit about my day to day, what I eat in a day as a vegan. All right guys, I'm ready to eat. Guru, let's go! Yo, yo, yo. it's the guru. Hey. Hi, how are you? Love, 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 Kim, thanks. All right, chef, so what's on the menu for today? I, th I think it's your favorite. It's that steel cut oats. I love that. I love compote. that. I'm telling you, we got blueberries, strawberries. Those are great antioxidants. The blueberries flatten the tummy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> and then we got a smoked apple sage sauces. I'm gonna Yum. smoke the sauces, put the you know, sizzle on it and all that guru ancient seasonings. Then we got the scrambled cauliflower. It mimics like, you know, scrambled eggs, you know what I'm saying? I call them eggs because it's vegan eggs when I make it. <laughs> yeah, so that's the breakfast for the day. Right. But this is bomb. Like, I can't wait for you guys. I was gonna say taste it, but look at it and taste it through the camera. Mm. This smells good before it's even cooked. All right, so I'm gonna leave, let you do your thing as I normally do. Absolutely. And uh, I'll be back to taste it, yes. smell it, all that good stuff. Yes, yes. See you in a minute. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the steel cut oats. As a matter of fact, I already pre-done the oats on the stove with a little butter, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. For the fresh fruit compote, I got the strawberries, the blueberries, and the apples. Chopped up nice and, you know, a little medium bite size. And we're gonna throw them into the skillet with some delicious vegan butter. All right, we're about to do the fresh fruit compote. The strawberries. Got some blue already in there, a little more blue. A little more apple. I gotta add some good things to it, some flavor. We got some cinnamon. It's a herb that's great for your digestive system. Ooh, gotta smell that flavor. It's on point. I'm gonna add a little vegan cream to it. You know what I'm saying? Ancient ghoul secret. And some organic brown sugar in its natural form. Ooh, that looks nice. It smells good too. Now as it heats up, I'm just waiting for the purple blast. That's when the blueberries kinda, and they make a purple color glaze that goes over the, the oatmeal. Check it out. Ooh, that's that compote. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna add it to that oatmeal that I pre-made. Give it some inside flavor. After all, we healing them from the inside out anyway. Some fruit compote lives right there. It lives right there. In a happy little bowl of oatmeal world. For the Scrambled cauliflower, you gotta have some rice cauliflower. So I got rice cauliflower, and then I add the delicious flavor collagen. I'm a flavorologist. So you got shredded carrots, green peppers, red peppers, bell peppers. You got scallions, the green onions, and delicious chopped garlic, fresh garlic. This right here is the smoked apple sage sausage. It is delicious non-soy product. I'm gonna take that. I, I saute it in the pan with safflower oil because it's great for high heat. You don't want to put olive oil, canola, none, you know, you want to make sure that you use a high heat oil when you're doing any saute. So that's what I'm gonna do with the sausage. First thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna add them to this skillet, which has some of the safflower, but also butter. So it's still great for sauteing vegetables. So I'm gonna add a portion of this, bell peppers, the green onion, Fresh garlic, we're gonna get all the garlic in there. Who else wants to be in there? Oh, we wanna be, okay, everybody wants to get some love. We're gonna get y'all some love too, don't worry about it. I talk to the food and you know, all that. Angela knows I do that in the house, so it's all good. All right, so now we got that. We're gonna break that down. Whoops, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy. Okay, whoo, smell that. Boy, if you could just smell that, look at that. It's amazing. Put on, put on, put on. We back with sausage. But now I'm gonna add the rice cauliflower to this mixture of vegetables. Do -do 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 -do. This is fantastic replacement 
for scrambled eggs or vegan scrambled eggs that are made with soy. I make this with cauliflower, which is a cruciferous vegetable, and it's all ital, it's all plants. It's a great alternative to those people who don't like to use soy. Don't get me wrong, fermented soy, sprouted soy, non-GMO soy is great and perfect. I've been doing this almost 30 years. It's been amazing. Okay, so I'm about to get started on the sausage. With the sausage, we're gonna add a little bit of the sap flour, like I told you, high heat oil. Get that going in the pan, coat, coat the bottom. Real simple, light. It's seasoning time. It's go seasoning time. What I like to do is season everything at the same time so that we can take advantage of the thermal, the heat. We got granulated garlic, folks. Both the sausage and the scrambled cauliflower get these seasonings, and I'm gonna show you the difference. We got black pepper. I call it black dots. Y'all gotta put the black dots in. I have my ancient herbal blend. Can't tell y'all what that is. But it's a herbal blend of fresh herbs, no MSG. Okay, getting that flavor going. A little bit of this stuff. Y'all know what that is. And my ancient guru secret. Anytime you smoke anything, you gotta use a liquid smoke. Please do not pour liquid smoke into your food. You just wanna drop. That's it. I did basically two drops. Okay, get that going on one side. The reason why I did chose to do this breakfast for Angela because it's her favorite, one of her favorite breakfasts. She loves this stuff. So I wanted to make sure that her audience got a chance to kind of vibe with her. So I go with granulated onion. I call it the white granulated onion, granulated garlic. I got the black dots. You understand? And this, take a little time. Take a little time with your food. So we add the fresh herb thyme. No MSG, all basically organic whenever possible. The only difference between those seasonings for the sausage and the cauliflower is we use nutritional yeast to give it a cheesy kind of vibe, but without cheese, because Angela doesn't like cheese, period, whether it's vegan cheese or milk cheese, she don't like cheese. And the other ingredient we use is turmeric. Give it a nice, eggy kind of a flavor. And an eggy color, all right? So now that that's done, the last thing is the sizzle. I call it the sizzle. These are liquid aminos, central amino acids for the body. And I don't use table salt, so the liquid amino serves as the flavor. Keep your blood pressure popping the right way, and you're eating nice and healthy. Look at that, how it turns. That beautiful color, that beautiful turmeric color. Sausage is going. Ooh, nice, nice, I like it, I like it. Juicy, succulent sausage that's not made from sausage. Smells like the pigs is running around, but there's no pigs in here, let's go, whoa. We all vegan, baby, 100%. That looks great. Now the last thing I'm gonna do for my cauliflower is add a little agave nectar, which is a little bit of a sweetener, but it doesn't raise the sugar index in the blood. It's great for the diabetics. Okay. Mm. I wonder what it smell like in here. It smell like. Okay, let's check these out now. They look great. That's what I like. You dig? That's what we talking about right there. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the fire off. You know, sausage is kinda sweet, man. Sausage is kinda sweet, so I gotta glaze it. Smoked apple sausage. A little glaze with the agave nectar. Now, these are ancient guru secrets now. Y'all better be, y'all better be glad. Okay, now we ready to rock and roll. Uh-huh, uh-huh, suck me at the bottom, I'm not done. And there is the oatmeal. Next. Scramble Scramble Kali. See all them beautiful colors. When you see them beautiful colors, you know you're getting nutrients. 
the hot, delicious, sweet, smoked sage sausage. Boo-doo. Breakfast is served. Angelo, your breakfast is ready. What you got your favorites. You yep. got your favorites. Oh, this is definitely my favorite. Mm, mm. <sighs> All right, let me just make Let sure it's what I'm used to. On. I like to have my oats first. Mm. I don't want to smack. Mm -mm -mm. She got whipped cream, it's all vegan. Everything vegan. It's bomb. Okay. Right. Not gonna lie, I was a vegetarian maybe last year. I stopped eating eggs altogether. This cauliflower scramble, let's check it out. It's seasoned a certain way. Flavor collagen, flavorology. It just gives you just what you need, you know what I mean? Like that kick. Oh, but not too much. Fun fact, I started something where I eat at 12 every day. I don't eat before that. I break fast at 12. Right. Just so you know. Fun Absolutely. fact. Why? Because the body is doing a cleansing from 9 to 12 a.m. Uh, 12 p.m. Uh -huh. The body's in a natural cleanse mode. So if you have to eat before 12, it should be something raw, like fruit, uh, uh, a fresh squeezed juice. Exactly. Or something in that nature. No whole. Yeah, or I try there. to keep it to a liquid. If I'm going to do anything yeah, yeah. in the morning to so my body's still doing its thing. Right. But at 12, a whole but at 12. <laughs> Just love and on it's that. sweet. Just love on that. But then it's like, crunchy. It's getting crazy, sorry. <laughs> I think I got a piece of it. <laughs> it's sweet, then it's crunchy. <laughs> it's amazing. And then it's got that soft succulentness in the middle. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all have no idea. I swear the pigs just run. No, no, no animals. Not real run. pigs. Yeah, no, no, it's not real pigs. This is meal one for me. All right. I ain't gonna eat all this on camera, because <laughs> When it goes down, how do the plates come back to you? Oh, the plates come back completely empty. And by the way, it's got, like I told you, the cinnamon, the different herbs. You're going to be regular. It's going to go in and come out. Trust me. And everything's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All of that was a lot. It might have been TMI, but you get it. We're going to do another meal. Normally, when he comes in, he cooks me my breakfast, and then he comes back for lunch or dinner, whichever one I choose to do. I like to eat by 8 o'clock. Right. If I can. Yeah, I come back for Angela to make sure her food is fresh, hot, and delicious every time. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the cool one. how we do it. Let's go. It's really good. I'm going to let you do your thing. Right now, we're going to find out my dinner. What's for dinner, anyway? The city ribs with bell peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. You got turmeric, veggie fried rice, and Delicious garlic infused asparagus. Oh, we getting those today? Damn, they're good. Look, what I'm gonna do is give you a little more time. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, but I wanna put some to the side so I can right. save okay. my appetite. Right. Put that in there for me gotcha. and I will no be problem. back. You do your thing, yep. but I'm gonna take this with me because I'm still hungry. Check out what we got. We got a wheat protein marinated in a plum sauce. It's like a seitan and it will be my city ribs. Also, I'm gonna add to that Red onion for flavor. Red onion gives more of a boost, which are bell peppers, green, and red, which is heart healthy vegetables. Then, asparagus tips. Cruciferous vegetable, amazing for your energy. Incredible, incredible vegetable for all facets of health in your life. I'm gonna do that asparagus, garlic infused. I'm gonna have the garlic, the red onion also, with a vegan butter and your safflower oil in the pan. The last thing I'm gonna do is a fried, delicious veggie turmeric rice. I'm doing my face like this because my taste buds just let me know how delicious it is. I'm having problems. No, okay, so I'm gonna use red onion, fresh garlic, your red and green bell pepper. I'm gonna add it to turmeric and brown rice, which is a great source of protein, seasoned brown rice, and put all this together. So I'm gonna start off with the asparagus. First thing I'm gonna do, I got the butter and the oil in the pan. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic and the chopped red onion. Put them, put them. Now, we're gonna let that season up. Back here, I also have a little bit of butter and a little bit of safflower. What I'm gonna do is create the rice, the veggie fried rice over here. So I'm gonna use some garlic, some fresh garlic, red onion, and the red and green bell pepper. We're gonna start some magic with the turmeric veggie fried rice. Okay, asparagus. I'm gonna add the asparagus, kind of keeping it in line going across. Add a little water to the asparagus. That also breaks down the oil and gets them to cook just right. That one's going. Okay, on this guy, I'm gonna add onion, bell peppers, red and green. This guy's gonna become amazing, I'm telling you. See all these beautiful colors? These beautiful colors mean 
that you get nutrients. That's what it means. So, right. seasoned brown rice. Add that. As you can see, we do all of this at the same time. Cause Miss Angela like a food hot. This is that protein, bro. Protein that cows get that from the plant. I'm gonna add all of this to this here. Cause this too delicious right here. This can't last in the building. This is wheat meat. This is like meat made out of bread. Okay, now that we got everything going, smelling good, we're gonna take it there. These guys are perfect for where they are. I just need to add a little more onion to that. You know, my people like onion. Okay, now we're gonna do our seasoning part. Saint and Guru seasonings. We got the whites, meaning the onion, granulated onion, granulated garlic. Then we use black dots, which is our ground black pepper. Add that thyme seasoning. No MSG, folks. Ancient Guru. So when you have your asparagus, you gotta smoke it. So I gotta hit it with a little bit of liquid smoke. Add that turmeric flavor. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. Now we gotta sizzle them. I call my liquid aminos the sizzle. See that? It starts to sizzle it. It's looking good. Now you take them and you flip them. Got one side done, flip them to the seasoned side. They get a little wild sometimes, but that's all right. Each one gets turned. Leave no asparagus unturned. Dinner is served. Angela, your food is ready. All right, what we got, what we got, what we... Ooh, I already know before you tell them. I've, this, this right here. Ooh, ooh. I remember one time I was, on, I was on the go in the airport. I ate this in the airport. It was yeah. so good. I had to whisper it. That's how good it was. I'm about to, let me get into it. All right, got city ribs with the bell peppers and onions. She's holding the sweet and salty kale salad with the vegan honey mustard. You got oh, veggie fried. Turmeric rice and garlic infused asparagus tips. Let them know, let them know. Before I get this. Right. Reason I'm, why? I'm super impatient when I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So he'll like give me this like food, just eat this before. Right, but there's a reason behind that. Your raw food, your raw salad is filled with live enzymes. So food combination is very important. People get bloated, people get gas, they're not combinating properly. You eat your salad first, chew it up like the cow do. Chew, 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 chew. And those live enzymes go into your system. Look at her dancing. They're dancing around in our system so that when your fiber and your real cooked food come down, guess what? You got to aid in your digestion with your salad. Just gonna... Let me tell you what's in the kale salad. You got shaved Brussels in there. You got carrots. You got cabbage. You got green, green leafy kale. Cucumbers, scallions, all of the good stuff, and some cranberries. Give and then that dressing on top, bomb. With the dressing. All right, now, so this is the part two. I start with my salad. I bust it down every time. I finish it. If bust down means like eat it quick, you know what I'm saying? I right, bet. This is one of my favorites. This I love. It just, it tastes so good. It looks like meat, doesn't it? Look at it. Get into it. It's the sauce on top of it. I would say it's something about that seasoning, like what you be putting on there. That's that plum sauce, you know what I'm saying? It's so good. That Asian vibe. Mmm. If you eat meat and you try this, you're stuck. You gonna sign off? Let's do it now. She dropped the, the fork, y'all. It's the combination. Come on. Then sometimes I eat my asparagus like this. I'm not proper in my own house. Okay. When you go outside, be proper. At home, I do this. <laughs> I do this. Such fun food. It's good. Ridiculous. And it's green. Come on. So basically, it's gonna give you that glow. Yeah. From the inside out. What? It's really good. Today's diamond of the day is eat more plants. Eat healthier. Go plant-based if you can. All I'm saying is challenge yourself. Go vegan for a week, go vegan for a month, decide go if it's something. Go vegan for a weekend. You feel how you eat. You eat how you feel. Mm. You get what I'm saying. Word. Thanks guys so much for being here today. Um, this was amazing as always. I just invited you for the ride. Guru, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. It was a great experience. I loved it. <sighs> amazing, now I'm about to get really full. Listen, before I go, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, click the page, do what you do. You and your crew, subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.